Whoops, law. Stardate, whatever. I could never figure those things out. How can you not know this stuff? Shut up, kid. Listen, I'm here to tell you about Star Trek Discovery's first four seasons. We'll try to have a little fun along the way, too, huh? It has been a wild ride of incredible characters and stories. And when I'm done, you'll be ready to stream Discovery's fifth and final season this April on Paramount+. Plus. As my old friend used to say, make it so. Let's fly. The Starship Discovery is one of the galaxy's coolest and most exciting ships. I mean, it pretty much trips on space mushrooms to jump itself around the universe. No, seriously. This ship's spore drive travels on a network of mycelium that's spread across the entire galaxy. It's commanded by Michael Burnham, a brave captain who is willing to bend the rules whenever necessary. But Michael wasn't always the ship's captain. She first came aboard as a disgraced officer who had gotten her mentor, Philippa Georgiou, who you've seen in everything like everywhere all the time, killed <laughs> and accidentally started a war with the Klingons. Whoops! To clean that mess up, Michael got some help from her friends. I'm talking about people like the Kelpian Saru. First officer, Saru. Scientist Sylvia Tilly. Oh my god, you look awful. Thank you, Tilly. I'm ready. Mushroom surfing engineer Paul Stamets and his loving partner, Dr. Hugh Culver, as well as one of the best bridge crews in Starfleet. And I know a thing or two about amazing Starfleet crews. How did you defeat the Klingon Empire? Even evil parallel universe Philippa Giorgio shows up to help end the war with the Klingons. My advice? Next time, just give them some prune juice. You see? Prune juice. Warriors drink. After the war, Starship Enterprise and Captain Christopher Pike, gorgeous head of hair included. As usual, we agree. Arrive on the hunt for Spock. Yeah, that's Spock. And by the way, he's Michael's brother. You're making this very complicated. I was raised on Vulcan. Spock, in his bohemian beard period, disappeared while investigating some weird red signals in space. It showed me an apocalyptic future. Dun, dun, dun! Thanks to some time travel shenanigans, Mom! those signals helped the Discovery crew stop a universe-destroying AI. Why does every AI want to destroy stuff? I mean, come on! Let's go. More AI defeating time travel shenanigans take Michael and the Discovery 930 years into the future. And their first mission in the future? Solve the mystery of an ecological disaster known as the burn. Dilithium. One day most of it just went boom. And speaking of burning, things got very hot between Michael and her new 32nd century friend, Cleveland Booker. Book. Okay. Stamets and Culber grow their family, adding a beautiful young couple named Adira and Gray. Parallel Universe Jojo joins Starfleet's top secret but not so really secret spy group, Section 31. And we are not really supposed to talk about that yet. <laughs> I would very much appreciate the opportunity to continue our conversation. Saru makes a love connection with Vulcan diplomat Trina. Aren't they cute? Ooh. Solving the burn gets Michael promoted to captain. Her first mission in command is stopping a planet-destroying space anomaly. They're all gone. Yeah, something easy to get her settled into the captain's chair. Tilly pursues a new passion. Welcome back to Starfleet Academy. Gray says goodbye to his family. Didn't he just get this family? Book goes on a misguided mission of vengeance that leads to his conviction on charges of treason and a breakup with Michael. I need to take a walk. And Michael and Saru wrap things up with the Anomaly's creators and prepare for what's next. And if all of that weren't enough, Honey, season five is going to be Discovery's biggest. It's gonna be its most exciting adventure yet, and the FOMO is real. You have to be there when the final season kicks off this April on Paramount Plus. Tell them what we sent you.